my lovelies, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys had the best of holidays. I hope you guys were uh, staying safe. I hope that this coming year brings to you all of the blessings and love and happiness and health and prosperity that you guys deserve. As you guys can see here, uh, I have another spell for you guys. Now, we are in the beginning of the year and everyone, you know, with their uh, New Year's resolutions, etc. This spell is for those of you guys that are trying to get into better shape, are trying to lose weight, or you're just trying to amplify your energy, uh, become more uh, whatever you would consider more attractive um, <clears throat> to really allow you for your light to shine through, um, specifically, obviously, to lose weight. So if you're looking for a spell that is going to help you lose weight, perhaps lose weight quicker, this is the spell for you. Now, I'm doing this for a client. As you guys can see, we've already ritualized and we already have this prepared, but I am going to take you step by step what you're going to be needing. Now, in regards to ingredients, let's get into it. What you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing some green tea and you're also going to be needing basil, okay? Now, these two ingredients are very, green tea and basil are known to be heavily used when we're talking about weight loss spells, um, anything that has to do uh, with better health as well as spiritual protection. So, we're going to be integrating this, obviously, to uh, quicken the process of the losing weight, as well as what you're going to be needing is some type of cologne. It could be any type of love cologne or rose cologne. Uh, you can get that in any botanical shop. Um, now, I personally am going to be using uh, one that I make myself, which is a mixture of rose, um, rose cologne uh, as well as uh, jasmine as well as uh, other ingredients that I put uh, for these specific spells that are going to help not only help my client to lose quick uh, sorry to lose weight quickly but also uh, to make her more confident in herself to make really her beauty within be able to shine out and to be able to be more confident in, in herself and more of that self-loving type of energy. So again, uh, you're going to be needing some type of love uh, cologne. It could be rose cologne. It is amazing for these type of spells, especially losing weight spells, as well as uh, rose oil if you have rose oil. Now you're going to be using some type of holy water or consecrated water, whatever it is. Uh, if you have moon water, this is amazing for that type of, for this type of spell work as well. Uh, you're also going to be needing a glass of water. Uh, the water is um, going to be recited over, and this is going to help you. Obviously, our body is ruled by water, so that's the reason why we're using the glass of water. You're also going to be using some, uh, what is this, uh, citrine, citrine uh, stones, crystals. This is highly recommended. Uh, for manifestations. It's very, very powerful for manifestations as well as uh, for willpower. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Now, you're also going to be using some type of chili powder. It could be cayenne uh, pepper or ground red pepper. And what this helps with is basically uh, to help you get quicker results in the less time possible. Uh, it, it quickens the pace. It's almost like a precipitation. Um, we don't want to use precipitation only because this is a self spell, meaning for yourself. Or if you're doing this for someone else, then yes, you can use precipitation oil as well. Um, now, we're also going to be needing, uh, like I said, rose oil cologne for the thorough beauty. You know, we, like I said, it's, it's, it is a losing weight spell, and it is, it's is—it's going to give you guys amazing results if you do this with faith and concentration. Um, but it also will create this magnetic pull. You'll start to notice people really being pulled towards you. If you're single, this is going to amplify your suitors or people that are coming in contact with you. They're going to feel this 
this this energy around you um and of course that's what we're trying to do here uh, of course it is a losing weight spell like i said but it also will help with your confidence level it will uh give you uh results um usually when i do this for clients they're not seeking love or they're not they're more focused on them on themselves and trying to uh you know grow and strengthen their self-love in themselves but when i happen to do these spells for them uh usually their romantic life starts to take flight uh, and of course, it has a lot to do because obviously you are losing weight, which weight shouldn't be an issue when it comes to love. Um, but it just makes you more confident. It makes you more empowered. It makes you truly know the beauty that you have within. And it starts to show up in results, which is why uh, on a subconscious level, like your mind does this thing where, you know, you feel and you see the results and you start to feel more empowered, you feel more motivated, etc. So it's just like a snowball effect of everything that starts to correlate that is going to help you down the path of this healthy approach or to live a much better, fuller life, okay? All right, so we're also going to be using some type of domination oil here. I'm using controlling oil. And the reason for this is because we have to we want to control ourselves, our habits. Um, we want to have that self-control that a lot of people have a tendency of not having. Um, and this is going to help you with that uh, for self-discipline and domination of self, okay? All right, so those are the ingredients you're going to need. Now, when it comes to cleansing your space, I always encourage you guys to cleanse your space with sage, white sage, palo santo, or rose uh, sage, um, anything that you can integrate for this specific spell, anything that has roses will definitely help you um, because, again, it is a lose, uh, a lose weight spell, um, but it has more to do with uh, bringing or integrating the beauty that you already behold. There is nothing in this universe that you don't already possess, okay? Okay. So what we're doing is we're trying to shine the light outward, the beauty you have within yourself, to be able to shine outwardly, and therefore you'll be able to see the manifestations of this losing weight. Um, but also we want to focus in your mind, your health mind, um, mental health and, and loving yourself and being more in tune to who you are and being able to embrace that type of energy so that's the reason why we're uh using and integrating a lot of ingredients that we would normally use for love spells as an example all right so what we're going to do here is you're going to need the most important thing obviously is a candle now you have two options you can use a body candle a figure candle um to represent your body as a whole now i find uh, that when I do the figure, it takes a little bit longer for the clients to see results. Now, when I focus primarily on their mind and on their pretty much triggering their subconscious and making it almost like a habit, um, it, it's easier for them to see results, quicker results. So that's the reason why I use the skull candles. Now, if you're using a skull candle, if you don't already know, a skull candle is not something that you work with overnight. So if you are using a skull candle like this one, what you want to do is obviously ritualize it, prepare it, consecrate it, cleanse it, bless it. Um, you don't need many ingredients to consecrate and bless if you're doing it for yourself because obviously it's self, right? Uh, so all you really need to do is put your hands over it, bless it, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this candle to be a representation of my mind, body, and spirit. I ask spirits to step in to allow me uh, to be able to manifest into these uh, into this physical realm the results of, you know, and then that's when you're going to say, as an example, losing weight, um, feeling more attractive, feeling more... Uh, confident in myself, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> Once you do that, what you're going to do is you want to talk to the skull for the next three days, okay? Now, it is a process, like I said, if you're using the skull candle. 
versus using a figure candle. If you're using the figure candle, all you have to do is engrave your first name, last name, date of birth, and around the body, you're going to be writing down what you want. Self-confidence, losing weight, if you have a specific number you want to lose, that's exactly what you're going to be writing on the candle. Now, the reason why I'm using, like I said, a skull candle, I find that, yes, it is a process. It's a, a bit of a uh, longer process to work for my clients. Nonetheless, I see that they uh, get much quicker results when I use a skull candle. So again, if you are using a skull candle, bless it, consecrate it for the next three days. You want to speak into existence what you're bringing in. So you're really going to focus your energy towards the skull candle. Um, and you're going to say self, meaning you, um, I call into, I call into manifestation, uh, for you to be able to radiate your light, uh, to be able to radiate confidence as the days go by, as the wax melts, so does the excess weight, um, that it, that I don't want or that I want to remove. Um, I call it into existence now. I clear and cleanse my space. I want to be able to radiate uh, the beauty within, so without, etc., etc. And you're going to be doing that for three days. After the third day, it's ready, you guys. So what you're going to do now is you're going to get the basil and the green tea, and you're going to make a circle around. Uh, so you're going to get a plate and make a circle around the skull. And then you're going to be adding the oils and the cologne, um, rubbing it and really putting your energy. Try to visualize exactly where you want to be. Do not focus in where you're at right now. The ultimate goal is obviously results. And you want to focus all your energy and effort towards the end result. So you're going to visualize while rubbing the oils and rubbing the cologne. You want to visualize the healthiest you've ever been or the weight that you want to be at try to visualize you know uh i don't know weighing yourself in the scale and seeing the number specifically that you're looking for etc so when when you're done with that uh then you're going to put this to the side you're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to be writing down your petition so in this petition as an example i would put um and depending on the deity that you're working with as well. Now for this, um, I'm going to be working with two different deities. I'm going to be working with my saint as well as with Isis. But like I said, it depends on the deity. You can call upon Aphrodite, which is the goddess of love. Um, Venus, the goddess of beauty. It, 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 there's an infinite of possibilities. It basically comes down to your belief system. So what you're going to write is you're going to write, I, and you're going to put your first name, last name, date of birth, uh, call into uh, manifestation um, to be the healthiest or to lose, example, you would put, I don't know, the, the pounds you're trying to get rid of, etc. Um, I call upon whatever deity you're working with to help me uh, to be able to get rid of unhealthy habits as the wax, um, as the wax melts, so does the unwanted weight of my body, uh, etc. And then once you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper and you're folding the paper um, in regards to directions. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer uh, to fold it in the opposite direction away from me only because this is something you're trying to get rid of. OK, so once you do that, what you do is basically you're going to put it under the candle. As you guys can see here, I already did that for my client. So this is just for showing purposes. Okay, so once that is done, like I said, you're going to make a circle with the green tea and the bay, uh, the bay leaf or basil. Sorry, let me put this to the side. Now you're going to get the crystals and you're going to put the crystals around. And these crystals are extremely powerful for manifestations, like I said, and for willpower. And that's exactly what we want. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate these crystals to be able to empower my client, to be able to bring to her the willpower and the strength that she needs to be able to manifest her quicker and fast lightning results and with the best time possible and perfect trust and perfect love. Bless 
Okay, so once that is done, what we're gonna do now is, like I said, I've already prepared this, but this, you know, after you've pretty much um, made the circle, what you do is you get the uh, basil and you get the green tea and you put it or rub it all over the candle when you've already put the oils and the cologne. Now what we're gonna do here is we're going to be adding the chili powder. And like I said, you can use um, you can use cayenne pepper or chili powder pepper, okay? Now this is, uh, it works as a, almost like a precipitation, like I said, but if you're doing this for yourself, you don't wanna use precipitation on yourself. Um, and this is only going to quicken the results. It's gonna quicken the losing weight uh, at a much faster rate than you would if you didn't use those. Um, it, it's a very powerful and igniting type of energy. So it, it's definitely going to help you as well as it triggers your metabolism to be able to get rid of that weight quicker. All right, my lovely. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is um, we pretty much have it prepared. Let me turn it around. And really sit with it before you light it. Um, like I said, take some time and some put some effort and energy towards it, visualizing what it is that, what your end game is here. How much, uh, how many pounds do you want to lose? How do you want to look? Is it more of a feeling? If it's more of a feeling, then you don't necessarily have to put the pounds you want to get rid of. It's just how you want to feel, how you want your clothes to feel or to make you look or how basically get as crystallized as possible when it comes to the end result. Uh, once you do that, what we're going to do now is basically we're going to put the water next to this and make sure to keep the water at all times with this candle until it burns, okay? Now, this naturally or normally, this is a six-day ritual, um, but it usually burns out, I want to say, around the third or fourth day, depending on how quick my client's going to get the results. Sometimes it does take up to six days. However, um, it usually it usually consumes within like three or four days. Um, but keep in mind, as quickly as it burns, that's how quick or how slow the progress is going to be. Um, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put your hands over the candle and you're going to say, as this flame burns, so burns my unhealthy habits. As the wax melts, so melts the unwanted weight of my body. I will be clean and pure like this water. The energy that vibrates this water shall move through me and give me the strength and energy I need for the coming days ahead. <clears throat> and then you're going to say beauty within and beauty... Sorry, you're going to say... Um, Beauty within and beauty shall shine outward. As above, so below. As within, so without. Let my light shine bright. And you're going to say this for nine, uh, nine consecutive times. So you're going to say this. I'll repeat it again. As the flame burns, so burns my unhealthy habits. As the wax melts, so melts the unwanted weight of my body. I will be clean and pure like this water. The energy that vibrates this water shall move through me and give me the strength and energy I need for the coming days ahead. Beauty within and beauty shall shine outward. As above, so below. As within, so without. Let my shine. Let my light shine bright. Sorry. Uh, like I said, you're going to do this nine consecutive times. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to light it now. Make sure that when you're doing this, you're going to take a good hour or two hours being around the candle. This is a candle that is a representation of your energy and your body. So you must be around it when it's burning. No, it is not okay to light the candle and walk away from your altar or wherever you're burning this and then come back to it later, especially in the beginning of the burning of the candle. You must be around it. We want to get results on a physical aspect. The only way to be able to get those results is if you are physically around the candle when it's burning. The candle, the wax is a representation of the weight that's coming off, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Do not light this if you have plans. 
or if you're planning to go out within an hour, two hours, uh, try to let it uh, burn as much as possible the first night. Once you're done, you're going to snuff it out. Never blow on your candles, first of all, because then you just blew your, <laughs> your work. <clears throat> snuff it out. And whenever you come back to it, you must recite the same chant nine times before lighting it. Okay, so every time you light it or every time your work is being interrupted and you must snuff the candle out, when you come back to it and you want to light it, you're going to need to recite the chant nine times. Okay, all right, my lovelies, as you guys can see, I try to make this as short as possible. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to ask me below. If you try this, definitely comment below. Let me know your results. You guys are going to be blown away. Like I said, put focus, energy, and visualization when doing this. You will get results. I wish you guys the very best. Happy New Year's, everyone, and we'll see each other soon. Love you guys. Bye.